Um, got a little bit of uh, news regarding the Grid X2 coming up starting Wednesday. And they are planning to have Russian and China Chinese troops participate in this drill. Um, I've got a couple articles that I'm going to share with you and uh, about this. We know that both of these countries have threatened us in the past. China has threatened to nuke us. Russia has threatened to nuke us. And now we have them over here training on American soil. So, I mean, and they, they're not going to hesitate to uh, disarm the American people. Not for one second will they hesitate to attack us, to take our firearms. We also have the UN troops here that I'm sure will be participating too. Um, you know, this is a major build-up, it seems, on the continental United States. And this Grid X2, I guess, is a perfect opportunity for them to, uh, you know, see how we operate during some things. Now, Dabu7 did a video saying that IRS was... Um, saying that there is going to be blackouts during this drill. This is an article here. I'll put a link below to it. Um, it just came out a little bit ago, like an hour ago. But this is Dave Hodges, The Common Sense Show. And he says um, about the upcoming Grid X2 drills. We can no longer just depend on our military. That's what President Obama said. We need to have our own funded military. That's what he stated. And we can see that that's what he's doing. The Russians are our enemy. They've stated time and time again that they will attack us. You know, it says, don't be deceived. It's just another example of international cooperation between two nations. As far back as two th uh, January 2012, Russia threatened nuclear war. And the threat was issued to, by the outgoing Russian ambassador to the NATO, to NATO. The Chinese are, are our enemies. For the first time in American history, the United States is allowing the communist Chinese Russian, uh, Chinese troops, I'm sorry, to train on American soil. Like the Russians, the Chinese military will be part of the upcoming coming Grid X2 drills, in which they will be providing military support by simulated attack of a rogue third world nation upon the U.S. and its power grid infrastructure. The Chinese will have boots on the ground from November 12th through 14th in Hawaii. And this incredible act of treason being committed by the White House, the Chinese government is the enemy of America. American people, just like Russia, the Chinese have threatened to nuke the United States over potential invasions of Syria. Um, he says several weeks ago about the Russians, several weeks ago on my talk show I posted an open question to as to why FEMA would sign bilateral agreement with Russian military to permit China, uh, Russia to train on American soil. My most immediate concern 
was to do with the fact that Russia, Russians have repeatedly threatened to nuke the United States if we invaded Syria. Well, if we do anything to Syria, they'll be here already to do damage. You know? Um... There are some campaign promises that President has fulfilled. It's clear that the President, in the present context, that Obama was promising to raise an army of brown shirts that would be just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The civilian nation security force is a three-headed monster. DHS, along with the acquisition of 2.2 billion rounds of ammunition and its 2,700 armored personnel carriers is the executive head of this new army. Unconstitutional thugs which will head the upcoming martial law enforcement troops. The other two parts of this force will be the Chinese and Russian soldiers who are presently training on American soil during, during the upcoming Grid X2 drill. I have just described the composition of the new martial law enforcement army and all of us should be highly concerned You're darn right we should be concerned because this is their perfect opportunity grid X2 on November 13th through 14th will the grid X2 drill be a cover for a massive false flag attack that will usher in final destruction of civil liberties and imposing of martial law although I share my uh, many of colleagues concern regardless regarding the false flag possibilities for this week's drill I've concluded that the upcoming drill is just what seems to be a drill however it is a drill with a serious and om ominous twist as I have grave concerns that Russia and Chinese troops are a part of this drill. Um, I mean, we've seen recent TV shows like Revolution. We've seen a lot of re recent TV shows um, depicting the destruction of America and the renewing of its government. Um, you know, are they are they getting us ready? Anyways, I'll put this article below. This is another article. Going global, east meets meets west. The upcoming Grid X two drills taking place on November thirteenth is ostensibly designed to s simulate a power grid takedown which would endanger the safety of millions of Americans. The two primary goals of the drill consist of preparations for an attack upon the grid and the use of foreign military assets to support the drill. The scenario is premised on the no notion that the attacks will be primarily nuclear in origin, basically an EMP. Many have been wondering if the November 13 drill is going to result in a false flag attack in which the power grid of the United States will be taken down and martial law will be in implemented and enforced throughout through the use of foreign mercenaries. Now we have, uh, like Dabu7 reported, now we have um, the... Uh, IRS reporting that there will be some power outages. We just seen what happened over in uh, England, in London. They had their power go down for some time. And, you know, problems ensued there. And again, here he states Obama, you know, stating we just can't depend on our military. And a video that I made the other day 
showing that they're bringing all the war machines back home to the United States here. Everything they're bringing, everything back from Iran and Iraq, I'm sorry, Iraq and Afghanistan. For what? Well, the machines of war go where the war is. That's just how it goes. They're not bringing it back here to sell to people as private, um, as as private, you know, SUVs to go rock climbing or whatever. They plan on using this stuff. And as we see, we've known Russians have been here. Now we're finding out the Chinese have been here. We know they have a place in Idaho, huge piece of area, piece of land that they own. They basically have their own little um, set up there, just like a, uh, a, a you know, a foreign uh, embassy, except this embassy is miles and miles wide, miles long. Anyways, guys, I would be prepared if I was you. I'm certainly going to be prepared because these guys are ruthless and they do not like the United States. They hate us. They hate what we've become, what we stand for. There's been many threats, open threats, to the United States recently about destroying us. And uh, like I say, I believe they've already begun weakening our country in many different ways. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope everyone's getting prepared as much as you can. For Wednesday, let's pray that nothing happens prepared that anything could happen. Because, you know, you never know, but this is not a good situ situation. We have all these troops here. We have the UN. We have the Russians. Now we're going to have the Chinese. You know, we have all of these. I hope everyone's well. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. These uh, tools are the only thing that stands between us and total takeover and tyranny. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.